Hi, this is Dye Smith, and today we're going to dissect a spray gun. We're going to take it apart, show you the different parts, and kind of show you how that works. That way you'll have a better understanding of uh, how a spray gun works. So, first we're going to take off this part right here is called the air cap. And I'm going to mention this, that uh, this air cap is probably where you're going to have most of your problems. If you're having a spraying problem and uh, you know that's something not spraying right, you know this is a good uh, thing to check with. We're not going to talk about cleaning a gun today. I have another video for cleaning guns and I've got a, another video that I'm going to do here before too long that gives some tips about cleaning as well. But just going to kind of talk about the parts. But if there is a problem, you're spraying and we haven't went over all the spray problems yet, but uh, this is what you want to start with is the air cap. Now, the air cap has different passages built in it that, that's uh, built into the air cap here. One thing you want to do whenever you're cleaning again and you're done or before you use it is a lot of times there's little holes right here. They're very small, hard to see. Make sure that they're open. And the easy way to do that is look up towards a light because they're hard to see. And make sure you can see light in all the holes. If one side there's one of the holes that are clogged up, you're going to need to clean that out. And uh, black or thinner and brush to scrub it, get you know air pressure and blow it out. You know a lot of times we'll clean it out. But you want to make sure you know there's supposed to be two on each side. Some have three. You know they're they're all different. But make sure that you can see those pass hole passages. And now we want to take out the. Uh, I've got all this hand loose. So I'm not sitting here trying to take it apart while. I'm uh, doing this video, but the second part I'm going to take out is the needle, and you want to take it out before you take a fluid tip out because you don't want to damage this. You know, trying to take that off, and that that needle sticking out here, you know, you could possibly damage it. So I'm going to take this out. This just screws all the way out, and there's going to be a spring here, and most guns I've ever seen do have that spring, and that's what helps push that needle back. And I'll show how that show you how that works here in just a little bit. So you take those out, and then you slide your fluid needle all the way out. So this is your fluid needle, and I'll show you what that does here in just a minute. And this is your fluid tip. Now one uh, word of caution when taking the fluid tip off is uh, some guns have seals in here, like this one has that seal. Make sure that don't fall out and lose it. And you put it all back together because if that if it does have an O-ring or a seal or something like this, if that if that's not in there, it's not going to spray right. It's going to spit and sputter and you know do a lot of things you don't want. Some some guns don't have them. Talk real quick about the fluid tip and fluid needle. Now your air comes through all through all these holes on the outside edge, and your fluid's going to go right through here and through this center tip, and then it's going to go through the air cap and be a, you know, that's how it gets atomization. But the way this works is that seats in that hole. So nothing can get out. That's basically a valve shutting that right there. So when you pull the trigger, you pull this back, it allows fluid through. When you release the trigger, it pushes up, seats again, and, uh, you know, doesn't allow fluid to come through. Now when you pull your trigger halfway, you're not pulling this needle back any. You know, it's just air. Then as you pull, completely pull the, the, the trigger back, it's going to pull that back, release it. And then whenever you let off the trigger, that spring helps shove that back so that you're not spraying fluid. This is all your gun body in here. Uh, right here, this is an adapter for that 3M PPS adapter. Now each gun is going to have a different adapter. There's not one of these that fit every adapter. Now all these adapters fit the PPS cups. But uh, each gun's a little bit different. Some of them are male, some are female fittings you're going to need. But uh, that's the PPS adapter for this gun. And this gun is a uh, Phoenix FX3000. We use this gun, it's a 1.3. We use it for our base coat solvents when we're spraying solvents in base coat. It does a good job. It's a cheaper gun, uh, you know, on the, the, one of the cheaper guns that we have. I think it's under 150 bucks, somewhere around in there. But as opposed to some of the awadas and stuff we have, you know, this is uh, quite a bit less expensive. 
Put that back on. And another thing, this uh, valve right here, after discussing how the, the needle comes back and forth and seats, this adjusts how far back you can pull the trigger. So that just how much fluid can go through there. The further back you pull, the more fluid. So this is your fluid adjustment. And it's always going to be right behind the needle. Now this valve right here, this is just your fan. You screw it clockwise, screw it in like you're screwing a uh, water faucet or something. Turn it off, it's going to make it smaller. Make the fan pattern from a wide fan pattern to a little ball. You turn it out all the way, makes it wider. So it's going to go from a little ball to a full wide, however wide the gun sprays. So that's your. Now I want to mention something about this. The uh, the fluid adjustment's always going to be behind the needle. This is in different places on some guns. Some of them you'll find it's a knob here on the side that you'll have to adjust. But that's still your fan pattern. So you got your fan pattern, your fluid adjustment. And of course this is an air regulator here. This is going to adjust your air pressure. Now there are some uh, people out there that like to spray straight from the uh, wall, you know, where it's a uh, hook up at. But if you're going to do that, remember, for each foot of hose, you're going to have to, have to uh, you know, it drops pressure, so you're going to have to adjust for that. So if you didn't have this right here, this is also an air adjustment where you could shut it down to do a control code or something like that. But normally on this one, I just leave it wide open, and I don't even use this. Some painters do, but if you're using an air regulator like this, you won't need it. And this just regulates the air, how much air pressure is going through here. And we talked about that in, in one of the videos, about setting the air pressure. And like I said, we'll talk about cleaning in another video, but we're going to put it back together. Remember, we want to put the uh, fluid tip on first so we don't damage the needle. Because the needle sticking out here, you know, you, pop, you could possibly damage it. And most guns that you buy are going to come with uh, uh, tools specifically for this that will help tighten these. Uh, I'm just going to hand tighten them for this video. So I've got the fluid tip on. Now I'm putting the, the fluid needle in. You want to carefully put that in. Careful not to damage or bend these. Then I'm going to put the spring. Then I'm going to put the uh, fluid adjustment valve. I have to push a little bit to push that spring in. Okay, let me show you how to how to know if this gun's full, you know, fully open. I'm going to squeeze the trigger all the way, and I'm going to turn this in. And now I just barely felt it push the trigger open a little bit or closed, so I can feel it right there. So we know that that is fully open. And uh, we'll talk more about adjusting that later, but just uh, this is just a quick way to know, you know, what, what, how your gun's fully open. So you just turn this in until you feel the trigger. See, as I turn this in, that trigger moves forward. It's adjusting how much fluid it will allow that needle to go through the uh, fluid tip. So now that I've got that in, of course, I would tighten, tighten that. Now we can put our air cap back on. And the air cap is something you just do hand tight. You get it where you want it. So if something in here is loose and you lost the O-ring gasket or anything, it's going to spit and sputter. If the fluid tip is loose, it's going to spit and sputter. You want that tight. The air cap, you want hand tight. Of course, all this you'd want tight. I wouldn't necessarily tear this completely down uh, to clean it every time. And we'll talk more about that in another video. But I just kind of wanted to uh, take this apart, show you how these parts work. And uh, to give you a better understanding, not a whole lot to it, uh, pretty basic. And of course, where this is adapters is that if you're not using the PPS cups, and uh, you know they do come in handy, but they are a little more expensive to use. You know, just whatever you prefer. Uh, if you don't want to use the uh, PPS system, you just take that off, and then you screw the cup that came with it on. So, anyway, that wraps up the the video over uh, gun parts. If you have any questions, be sure and leave a comment below, and uh, be sure and subscribe to us, share this with your friends, like it, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.